I'm Chris. And I'm Pete. And we're going to be getting into the nitty gritty about what's happening with Madonna and Rocco. Not without my son. Strike a pose. Poor Madonna. Poor Madonna. Pete, give me a little lowdown. Like, what is the scoop? What's been happening? Well, I am a Madonna expertise. Mm -hmm. And Looks I've done nice. extensive research. Madonna fighting for custody of her son Rocco from filmmaker Guy Ritchie. And when I say filmmaker, I mean that very loosely. What do you do? Train spotting? No. Close. <laughs> it was British. Lock, stock, and two smoking barrels back in the 90s. Oh. And then he made Snatch, which is basically the same movie. They do drugs and they shoot and there's fast cars and lots of violence. It's and Fast and the Furious, British version. Yes. And then around that time, Madonna's work also started getting a lot of violence in it because she was trying to be hip with British filmmaking. She had that accent. Well, now everything's over between Madonna and Guy Ritchie. But the animosity is Keeps still going. there, honey. I've never had a divorce Not or a yet. marriage. Not yet. I'm hoping to get a couple of divorces under my belt and I'll take half of what they have. So Madonna divorced yes. Guy Ritchie. She had to give him a hundred million dollars. And then she went back on a, on a two year tour of Sticky and Sweet to get that money, money back. back. Remember she was supposed to make those like gyms, like candy rock gyms? She has them hard candy hard. gyms. Where do those exist? In like Russia and like Germany and like Italy and then Toronto. How come not any in America? America? I don't know. She can't compete with that 24 hour fitness. I mean, who could have it's 24 hour fitness? I love that it's called 24 hour fitness, but it's not I've open 24 never hours. Open 24 hours. Because 11 or midnight. Maybe we should sue them. That's like 16 hour fitness. If you want to attack a corporation, I recommend doing it on Twitter. It's kind of like what Madonna's doing on social media like she's trying to get the like the public court of opinion on her side and like get Rocco back. Here's the thing Madonna, really the only opinion that matters is Rocco's. Well Warren Beatty did say in Truth or Dare, Madonna you can't live your life off camera so you know Instagram. She is like unabashed. A picture of Rocco caption. He is like putting it all out there. Well to let everybody know this, the whole story of this. Mm -hmm. Madonna was on her Rebel Heart tour mm -hmm. and in the, around November right after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Holiday time. Rocco flew the coop, left his nanny. Security. And flew over to Guy Ritchie's house and mm -hmm. stayed there and was like he promised Madonna I'll be back for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Well he did not okay. want to go back to her. So she went to court to force Rocco to come back and the judge said yeah. He does have to come back. Well, then Guy Ritchie got a lawyer in London, and then that judge said, Rocco does not have to go back. Then does she celebrate Christmas? I thought she was like super into Kabbalah. Like she's not like. Well, they can still celebrate Christmas, but I think she probably mm -hmm. also celebrates Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. I mean, I don't oh, know. Oh, I'm sure she celebrates Kwanzaa. She's well, there. she has his African children. Yeah. The so Lourdes dances on the tour with her and sometimes plays instruments, and Rocco, I guess, is also a break dancer. Rocco danced, but break danced on a couple of songs on the MDNA tour in 2012. But he was not dancing on the current tour, but she still brought him along because she brings his kids along. What does Mercy and David do? Like David dances and plays guitar, but not on tour. She's like having her own like partridge family. They all gonna, you know, be performers. I feel like she's molding Loris to literally be like her. Like Lourdes is now enrolled in U of M. Mm -hmm. Like I'm a dance major. Studying like, musical theater. She's gonna be like, and now I'll go to New York in the 80s. No, I can't do that. That's what you did. We live there now. She's like, oh, I, I, I. You have to like start wearing lace fingerless gloves. You have and to like, half bandanas in your hair on one side. This is like my advice to you. Sometimes when you are a large personality, you have to let your children grow in their own time into their own people. You know, and you can't like force them to be involved in every aspect of your tour. Like, I mean, you gotta let these kids just fucking be kids. Well, that's the problem that Rocker has is that yeah. she's very controlling. Yes. And he wants to live with his father in London because apparently Guy Ritchie's more relaxed and doesn't yeah. make him go to school because Guy Ritchie dropped out of school and that's doesn't crazy. think school is important and Madonna is very into school. And also another uh, rumor is that Rocco broke up with his girlfriend in New York because he was just traumatized by it. Fun fact about Rocco's girlfriend mm. in New York, her mother yeah. was, okay. Okay. Rocco's girlfriend's mother played All the Way May in the A League of Their Own TV show. Because Madonna played All the Way May in the yeah. League of the Road movie. movie. It's crazy. That is just like, 
It's like, you know, six degrees of Madonna, but it's not even six degrees. It's like two degrees. Yeah, it's two degrees of below Fahrenheit. Oh my God, it's as cold as Madonna's heart. Oh, well, honey, you know that woman. She bleeds ice cubes. Frozen. When your heart's not open. Let's talk about theories of why Guy and Madonna broke up. Theories. Mm. Theories. First of all, one big theory, which I also kind of thought was a theory why Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin broke up, was that like she's super controlling, like won't let them eat anything fun, like it's microbiotics, it's vegan, it's just like brown rice, maybe like a moment of tamari, who even knows. And these men are like, no, I like grew up with Lunchables and my kids should like have a Lunchable every now and then. Another theory I heard about Guy Ritchie and Madonna breaking up was that she was working out so much that when, she, when he tried to hug her in bed at night, what? he said it felt like grizzle. Which is, I guess, a British meat? Brits are so weird. They're so crazy. But Donna like, has been working out, though. Like, she's had those arms, like, for a minute. Well, so around like, that time that they got divorced, she was looking pretty hard. Mm. Candy. Although, I don't know if I believe that theory, because I have a hard time believing that Guy Ritchie was trying to cuddle. Why did Madonna marry Guy? Well, they met at a sort of an outdoor luncheon affair in London at Sting and Trudy Stark Tyler's. Trudy Stark Tyler's. Tantric sex. That's all I think about when I think about their people. Yes, at their home. Yeah. Donna had a boyfriend at the time, and he was mad at Madonna. They always are. And didn't sit next to her, so Guy Ritchie sat next to her. <gasps> and she liked him because he was acting like he didn't care about her. She likes mean men. Yeah, I feel like she wants so badly to be with someone who's like uber masculine mm -hmm. and just like... Treats, you know, her badly. treats her bad. Treats her bad like like a 1950s housewife. Yeah. But Madonna, you are like a working businesswoman with lots of money. Like that type of man, like I don't think can really be with a woman of the magnitude of success that she's had. No, they're overwhelmed. They can't live in her shadow. I feel like I'm disgusted and surprised that like guy took a hundred million from her. She had to give him a hundred million dollars in their country estate, which I'm sure she didn't care about that country estate. She didn't want to live there. She's no. this metropolitan city girl, although she yeah. loves her horses. And that's another theory, is that when she fell off that horse on her birthday in 2005. She fell off a horse on her birthday in 2005? Yes, honey, and she broke her like collarbone and her scapula. I think Guy Ritchie wasn't that attentive to her, and she that was with the sort of the turn in the relationship, which <gasps> he didn't give her the kind of love and attention that she, she needed. Yeah. That's kind of like that's kind of like what happened to Yolanda and David Foster. And without know? the horse. Yeah, but the horse gave her Lyme disease. Oh. So she's been wronged by a horse as well. Don't get, get married horse. and then get horses. That's the only reason what we're doing these yeah. videos is to make. I made up my YouTube channel just to be like, don't get a horse. We're, yeah. we're very anti-domestication of horses. Let yeah. the horses run free like mm -hmm. stallions that they are, like we are. We can't be tame. We're Nay. Oh, rebel heart. <gasps> so then now, so yeah. back to the rebel heart. Oh, yeah. and <laughs> she's still on that tour. She's yeah. supposed to go to Australia with that tour. I mean, and I feel like she's playing that tour for us. And you know what? I don't blame her. Sometimes you just need the work. Yeah, but is that not maybe the reason why her kids are having some issues? It is. They, want her, they just want a mom. They I mean, want a mom. They want the Lunchables. They want the mom. They want the mom to cook in the morning and like, hi honey, welcome back from school. Like here's some cut off fucking apples and almond butter. I mean, she really does need a new man. I need a new man. Honey, don't we all? Oof. No horses. <laughs> well, one part of them can resemble a horse. The brain, the hooves, the tail. It's so wonderful when it whips you. I like the teeth. Thank you all so much for going inside our investigative reporting on what's happening with Madonna and her kids. Not without my son. We mm -hmm. dug deep and we dug it for you. Yeah, so don't fall in unless you want it. My name is Pete Zayas and follow me on Instagram at Pete Zayas. My name is Chris Ferry. You can go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at, at Chris L. Farrah. And then we're also on Snapchat. If you're not following on Snapchat, like we are killing it on Snapchat. I love Snapchat. Oh follow me on Pete V. Zayas, the V's for victim, at Snapchat. And follow me on Snapchat at Lebanese, L E B A N E E Z. Why? 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 You because know. You should. See you next episode. Bye, lovers. Struck a horse. There's nothing. <gasps> and I heard it wasn't even really a horse, I heard it was a pony. It did. <laughs> She fell off a How do you know so much? You just have a Google alert for Madonna and just like, I don't even, I don't even have it. Years? So the first thing I do in the morning is I do Google Madonna to get my information. I go to the Instagrams and I... Is there like a Madonna gossip blog? Or something? I follow all the different fan sites on mm. Facebook and they give you all the tea, honey.